Hey there, my name is Brian. Welcome to today's video. The purpose of today's sermon is to teach us how the Bible expects us as Christians not only to just be a listener of the Word of God, but to also be a doer of the Word of God. And by the end of this video, you should be very clear on what the Bible expects. We're reading from the book of James. And also, you should learn how, you will be able to learn how this command is actually beneficial for our lives as Christians. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for spending your time with me to this point. I have a message for you at the end of the video, so stay till there. But if you're returning, thank you for coming back once again. That proves to me that these videos are useful for you, and I appreciate that you take this time. Our verse is in James chapter 1, verse 22. It says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. James is saying something very clear here. He's just telling the Christians all over the world who are just to, to not only just be listeners of the word, James is telling us to be doers of the word, to not only just go to church and listen to a sermon, but to also apply what we're learning through the teaching of the Bible in our everyday lives. And it's a very simple command that he's teaching us here in James. But how many of us, we read the Bible at home every day just to check it off of our daily to-do list? How many of us do that? I know I've done that. I know I still do that sometimes. How many of us do that? And, we're, and even further, where we do that and then we walk away and not apply anything to our lives. And how many of us, we sit through a sermon passively and we listen to the entire sermon. We nod at a few jokes and um, applaud when the pastor or preacher or give him some acknowledgement when he says something deep or profound. But then we walk away not remembering a single thing that he's taught us. And we don't apply a single thing that he's left with us in his sermon. James says in James chapter 1, verse 23 to 24, that if we are like that, if we're just a listener of the word and we're not applying it, we are like a person who looks at themselves in the mirror, as I'm looking at myself right now in this video. We look at ourselves, we walk away, and we completely forget what we look like. But he also says in verse 25 that if we aren't just listeners, but we become doers of the word, we live it out in our lives, and we persevere every day in living it out, what happens? We will be blessed. The word here, blessed, it's Greek, and it means happy, and fortunate. So what James is saying here is when you are applying the word of God to your life, from what you're reading, what you're learning, you will be blessed. You will be happy and you will be fortunate. And I don't know anything in this world, and that's not a rhetorical statement. I really don't know anything in this world that can bring more true, sustainable, lifelong happiness than following God's word and following what he's taught us and living it out in our lives. Seriously, think about that for yourself. Do you know anything that could bring you more happiness than that? So don't just be a listener of the word. Don't just be a Christian who reads your Bible to get it over with or passively listens to a sermon and doesn't leave with any application in your life. Be a Christian that starts to apply the word of God to your daily life every day for the rest of your life. And you will be blessed, but you have to persevere. Remember that because things will be challenging, uncomfortable, and difficult. But as you persevere and live it out in your life daily, you will be happy and you will be fortunate. Thanks for listening. Now is a part uh, I want to give you guys uh, some time to share what you think. Um, specifically, what do you think about what James has said, what James has taught? You can leave your comment and your thoughts, your opinions down below, maybe your takeaways, maybe your testimony, anything that comes to your mind. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Uh, I want to hear what other opinions there are out there. So if you're new, uh, welcome to this channel. I release a sermon every single weekend as of this recording. Uh, the sermon, the publishing time hasn't changed. Right now it's every single Saturday or Sunday. And um, the purpose of every single sermon that I release here, beyond just this one, is to teach all of us that are listening to not just be listeners of the word, but to be doers of the word. So if this video has caught your attention and you're new here, consider subscribing. If it hasn't, I have a few other videos, a few popular ones, maybe the one that's called What Your Pastor Hasn't Taught You About Sex. You can check that out and then make your decision about whether you want to subscribe or not. If you're returning, thank you for watching these videos again. I really appreciate that you spend your time with me every week to watch. Uh, for those that are returning, if you found this one helpful and you can think of a friend where you think that this can challenge, convict, or encourage them in their walk with Christ, you can send this to them. Um, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Brian. Don't just be a listener of the word, but be a doer of the word. I'll see you here next week. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great afternoon, wherever you are. Love you guys. Peace.